What's going on, everyone? Steve here, Philosopher Cards. Got for you guys today two Lord of the Rings bundles. Uh, these bundles contain uh, four cards in it, including the one ring, uh, eight set boosters, a bunch of foils, life counter, and such. Um, these cards are a really good deal right now on Amazon because they're going for like 64 and the foil borderless ring is, you know, I'm, I'm seeing around 43 to 45 on, on direct. So because of that, you know, you can easily list that ring, make a nice chunk of money back on this thing, and then, you know, crack those eight boosters and, uh, and see what's going on in there. So... Uh, good times here. We're going to get into it. Uh, command or um, The Goodwill opening went well. I listed everything for a total of 184. There was like, it ended up to be over 40 sets in that Goodwill opening. And uh, some of the sets that I don't have a lot of cards on, I just kind of boxed up and, and listed that on eBay just because it's, it's going to be harder for me to sort through all those different sets and list it than the values are worth. So um, give it to someone who can make some good use of it from a collection perspective. Boulder's Gate definitely was the winner. Uh, I listed all the Boulder's Gate cards for about um, $70, $80 for essentially the price I paid for it. Uh, the foil agent of the Iron Throne was definitely the top card. So we're going to go ahead and get into this one. These ones are sealed. <laughs> a, little, a little harder to reseal cardboard. So um, let's see what's in here. All right. I always like these arts that they, they contain in these bundles. I just, I'm a big fan. I've been, <laughs> been actually hoarding them. So I, I have a, a bunch of these little little papers back there. Um, we'll set this one aside for now. We'll crack that in a minute. Well, this is our box, you know, good storage box for cards. I, I keep those as well. Um, all right, let's see what we got. So we got our our dice, and we got our empty box, uh, our cardboard punch outs for token pieces, um, and then the lid for the box. I'm going to just set the box over there. So let's see where these ring cards are hiding here. It looks like they're in this one. Let's go ahead and crack that first, and uh, let me go ahead and make sure I sleeve that up. All right. All right. Frodo, Sam, Gollum, and the ring. So, again, if you, how does this go? Something like this. Is that how it goes? Yep, yep, that's how it's supposed to look. Let's go ahead and get this in the sleeve. This is going to pay for the majority of each one of these boxes and, you know, allow me to keep on doing this. So I'm going to set that aside. The lands, I also set aside. I, I, I don't know, maybe one day I'll sell the lands in bulk. I, I, I don't know. I just kind of hoard the lands. They seem like a pain in the butt to me to sell. All right, on to set booster one. Okay, Bal Baradur is the art here. Baradur. Mountain, Sting, Bravery, Bra Lambus. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to give away the goodies there at the end. Old Man Willow, nasty end for the borderless rangers uh not very good card at all and then the mushroom watchdogs so we did not have a very very good first opening first pack there that is for sure um why do i do the piles this way i don't sell tokens i also hoard tokens um i rarely sell art cards uh shire the shire art card um, I rarely sell, sell those. I keep them by commons and, and uncommons. That land doesn't belong there. Then the rare pile, non-foil, foils, and then tokens, because I list foils and non-foils differently from the scanning machine. Mary Adok, Frodo, Dunland. Okay, the, you do move, Dunland. The ring goes south. All right, couple buck or two. And Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. That's a that's another buck or two. Okay. Well, folks, not too good right now. 
This has kind of been the theme. I'm not uh, Galadriel. That's the Galadriel art card. Land. Cast into the fire. Okay. Smite. Ranger. Golem. I'm giving you guys a sneak peek again. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, Prince Imrahil. Press the enemy. Okay. This one's going for five bucks or so, I think, right now. And Great Hall of the Citadel. Nothing. Nothing crazy there. All right. The Horn of Gondor. Yes, it is. Knights, Lash, Samwise, Strands, Bravery for the Border. Okay, Loyal Attendant, couple dollar card. Again, nothing crazy, non-foil. Elrond, Master of Healing. There we go. Maybe again a, a buck. And then Patrol. Nothing, nothing too great there either. All right, what's this art card? Is that also Galadriel? I don't know. The Woodland Realm? Gift Giver. Yep, Galadriel Gift Giver. Bats. Treason. The Mouth of Sauron. You guys remember him in the movies? He had those big teeth and no gums. Legolas. And the One Ring. And this is why we did this today, folks. This is the reason why I went after this deal. So, uh, perfect example. We have our other ring that was given to us as part of the gift of the bundle here. And uh, this one is worth 42, 43 right now. Uh, this one is the more coveted, hard to pull, obviously, because it's not in gift bundles. We're looking at 70. So right off the bat here, folks, these two made money on this box. I just, this, this made me money. I'll, I'll sell this before the day's over. I'll have it shipped and I'll have made money here. Uh, again, that doesn't always happen that way, uh, because again, Mount Doom, here's our foil. We're doomed to not get any money on that. Co oh, list card. What do we got here? Okay, Mercadian Masks Toymaker. I don't think this is worth a ton of money, but I always like to see a Mercadian Mask list card. We're going to add that to an additional pile up there. We're, we'll stack our rings. We'll stack them like the Guardians. We'll see if we get any more rings in these other pools, but as of now, that box... What the heck was that? This was like not glued right. That means that there's going to be another ring in here, guys. Another ring. Okay. Okay. We got our gold stamp card. This one looks like it's Mount Doom. Just a, oh, just a plain mountain gold stamp. Okay. Um, I, I sometimes I sell the art. I've been kind of getting into these art cards for Lord of the Rings just because, again, I like Lord of the Rings in general. Um, I'm not really huge into swamp or art cards otherwise. And Fury, Stone, uh, okay, talk about Stone for those of you who, who play the game and don't just open packs, um, Tormod's Crypt, if you guys remember that over the years, that was a card you could throw out for a zero and essentially exile the graveyard to make sure that nobody could play cards out of their graveyard, uh, which is key. This one, if a creature opponent would, you would, would, yeah, if a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it. So if you're, if this thing's sitting out, it actually has an ability just sitting there. Then you can pay two, exile the whole graveyard, and you draw a card. To me, this thing is like way better than Tormod's Crypt. I put one in some of my commander decks. Um, so that's my thoughts on that card. Bath, Lash for our Borderless. Shelob. Okay, I, I don't know what this is going for lately. I think it's like a $5 card right now. I, I, I could be wrong, um, but not bad. And friend of the Shire, but not friend of making me money. That is a pretty bad pull. Baradur again. Double tap on the Baradur in this box. Um, Nasty End. Nasty End is also a pretty good card. Hobbit Sting, friend, again, friend of not making any money. This one also I have sitting in my uh, shop right now. These things have not moved. I don't think I've sold a single one of these. I probably have 10 copies of this thing. I'm going to end up running a fire sale, or I'll have a box of 100 of them by the time I'm done that I'll list on eBay. Um, Ent Drought, uh, Quick Start uh, for our Borderless, not what you want to see. 
Uh, Mithril Coat, this is a winner. Um, so we'll talk about that Elven Farsight. This will sell, very playable. Mithril Coat, what a, what a nice artifact. Flash, um, so obviously it can come in at any time. Indestructible, so the, the, <laughs> the artifact itself is indestructible. And then when it is attached to a legendary creature, um, that creature is also indestructible. And it enters the battlefield and you can attach it for free. So I, I really, right off the bat, I always felt this was a great card, and I, you know, I started hoarding them to be honest. So I have, I have a, at least several play sets of them. Um, I may sell it or I may hold it. Um, quality control, okay. Um, I, I will probably sell that one because um, I, I have a ton of them. Borderless foil, all different kinds. Sam, loyal attendant. We pulled that card or earlier. Oil attendant. Land. Great Hall. Axe. Fury. Ray Havens. Arwen. Okay. Mirror of Gladriel. Very nice. Knights. Not nice for the borderless. Forge anew. Okay. This is going for about three or four at the moment. And Lash of the Balrog for the foil. And a. Ooh. Return all artifacts to target. Player owns his or her hand. Modern Masters 2. Is this Modern Horizons? Modern Masters 2. MM2. That doesn't look like the Modern Masters set symbol to me, but whatever. All right, so that's box one. Box one, we did um, very well. Uh, very happy with that. Um, now I don't have a lot of room to work. So I'm going to hold it in the air up here. Over the over the cards and try not to drop anything. Do we have a different same same art? Yeah. But again, it's still great art. Um, I, I've just really enjoyed the art in this set. Don't mind all the all the crashing over there. Okay, let's get our third ring card going here. I probably should have put that other ring in the sleeve, but just going a little fast. Okay, those are all foils. There's our ring. And then we have our bunch of lands. So that's our ring right there. Give me a second, guys. I would like to just uh, sleeve these guys on up. Super happy for the third ring pull, though. I mean, that's what I was trying to do here. Okay. All right. Get the box out of the way. Empty box. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. We got a dice. We've got a dice. Two dice, slightly different colors. So if you guys buy this, I'm not sure if that's an intentional or if it's just the epoxy, what it is, but they are a different color dye. Okay, so last eight packs. Here we go. Legolas, Master Archer. Counter of Kills. Ah. Escape. Fire, cast. Ring sight, no, don't, no peeking, no peeking. Bitter downfall, rangers, many meetings. Ugh, I have a million of these things too. They're not, they're not good. Moria Marauder, double strike. Uh, I, I don't remember this one where it's at to be honest. And another lash for the foil. Uh, Throne of Eldraine, that's probably not worth very much. All that glitters. Pretty sure there's an all that glitters in Commander Masters. What's this one again? Shadow of the Enemy, that's right. Island. Relentless, Rally, Quarrel, Banish. Long list of the Ents. This was always a fun card. You see how there's like seven, six of them? Uh, you know, imagine the Ents talking so slowly that they only list one creature every single turn. And when folks say that they did a good job with like the lore and making the cards feel like Lord of the Rings, this is one of them. Um, just imagine those Ents taking each turn of yours and then your opponents to be able to list the name of another creature. 
Uh, so well done, <laughs> well done. Not very playable, um, but well done. Quick beam, not well done. <sighs> Too many of those things. I'm gonna have a fire sale on those. Balrog, two bucks. Um, Leechcraft, another one. Order of Yagma. Yagmoth. Yagmoth. Whenever he deals damage to a player, that player discards a card. I feel like this is actually a pretty good card. Um, but I don't know. The list cards are actually a really pain in the butt to sell. <laughs> they cross so many sets. Like, okay, here we go. Signature. Shelob. Child of Child of Ungoliant. Ungiliant. No peeking. Ring sight. Inscription. Bitter downfall. Okay, those sell. The Sildar's Fateful Strike. People hated this card before the thing came out because you needed a legendary creature. You needed four. And by the time you get four mana, a legendary creature out, your opponent has less than four cards in their hand anyway. I actually, I still think it's great. I, I play it in some of my Lord of the Rings decks. Um, I imagine this is like a $7 card at the moment, um, and this is not. Okay. Legolas. Marshall's Anthem. Hmm. I was wrong. Shower of Arrows, Scarecrow, Revive the Shire, Took Reaper, Book of Mazerbood. Denethor, Old Man Willow. There's some Old Man Willow commander decks. Gandalf, friend of not making me money. And Aragorn the Uniter. This is the um, version I believe you want to see because um, I think the other. this is a little harder to pull than the other. And this might be a couple bucks. I, I could be wrong. Okay, Frodo Adventurous Hobbit, Foil, another couple bucks. Nothing crazy, but a commander version. Okay. Shelob again. Swamp. No cheating. Don't look. Morgul. Stern. Prince. Scroll of Isildur. Okay, I don't know what this is doing. This must be a pretty hard pull because I don't I've, I haven't hit this very often. Gift and then food. We always like more food tokens. Uh, light the beacon. Call parade. Same thing. I saw something back there. Second breakfast. Lembus, Generous Ent, Golem's Bite, Gandalf, Council, Dunland for the Borderless. We're not really getting good Borderless hits. Dunland for the Borderless. Pippin's Bravery for Borderless. Minas Tirith. Um, again, this is like the version that is, <laughs> I haven't seen this as often. $2 card. Uh, uh. What a disaster on that one, huh? All right, two left. I'm not too worried. Um, that ring actually kind of made the whole thing. Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> it made it paid for, for both boxes, and anything else we're pulling here is just profit. So I'm um, super happy about that ring pull cast. Pass, Lost to Legend, Grima, Frodo, Flowering of the White Tree. Okay, this thing tanked in value, but I, I don't know. I still think that I'm holding on to a bunch of these just like Mithril Coat. Um, you know, I, I still think this is a $10 card. Um, that's where it belongs. It crashed. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'll probably hold on to this for a while. And Lash of that Balrog again. Oh, this one. This is Commander 2013. Yeah. Commander 2013, true name Nemesis, has protection from the chosen player. Um, that feels like that's a really good card. 
Um, don't know what it'll be, what it'll be worth. I'll talk about it in the beginning of the next video for sure. Final pack, Nazgul. Is this the Nazgul? Nazgul. Swamp. Nimble. Make sure you guys can't peek. Westfold. Rise. Shadow. Horatius. Sheriff. Sam. Oh, we're already on the on a rare. Samwise. Not what you want to see. This is about a dollar and nineteen cents. Not at all what you want to see. Okay, fall of Gil Gilad. Gil Galliad. Gil Galad. Gil Glad. Um, I don't know how this thing's doing either. Not what you want to see in the last foil slot. And then oh look, you can bend them and get the ring token and break the card apart. I felt that perforation on the back, and I was like, what in the world is that? Um, and I forgot about that. So, yep, thanks for watching, everyone. This was um, this was a good opening. Like I said, we got uh, three rings. Um, three rings for the Elven King. Um, so, I, 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 you know, 43, 43, probably 60. Maybe 65 or 70. So, these boxes are 65 apiece. You figure 65, you figure 43, 43, you're at at least 140, 150, minus 10% in fees of 145, uh, uh, at about, let's say, 15 bucks, because I'll sell them on direct. Um, you know, we're looking at 140 versus, I think I paid with tax on these, 135 or so. So profit done right here. Everything else on this table is extra which allows me to kind of, like I said, speculate and hold some cards because, um, you know, I, I, some, some cards I feel like are better than, they, than they're kind of out there right now on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Again, I got some more content coming, so please like the video, um, subscribe, and yeah, talk to you all later.